I'm just gonna have you say your name and the date. John Clark Maven. The date? Well, I'll give you my birthday. Okay. Nine <laughs> one five sixteen fifty one. John Maiden uh, was a young guy that grew up in Baltimore that, uh, you know, was uh, happy to just um, achieve and to pursue opportunity. And photography uh, gave me an outlet that I never saw coming. And so, uh, in pursuit of that outlet, it's taken me down the road to 25,000 negatives in 48 uh, years and uh, a lot of ups. I got some downs, but it's uh, forced the best out of me. And so, that's who I am. How old were you when you became interested in photography? I was 19 years old. I was a reporter at WNAR-TV, one of the uh, photographers. He used to carry a 35 millimeter around his neck when we would go out on the street and do interviews. So I always started asking him, tell me about this thing. And he did. And so I realized, you know, this is basic. I can do this, but I kind of was cool with that part of it. I said, all right. So I've done some sporadic things or some spontaneous things before in my life. So I went out and bought a camera. Just like that. Because I said, I can do this, and this looks interesting. These guys will teach me. That dark room they have is fabulous. It's state of the art, you know, that they have in the TV station. I work here. I can have access there. Do it. I bought the first camera. Mm -hmm. I went out on the street. And I started doing street photography mm -hmm. because I thought, well, what do I want to photograph? This. So I went out there to do it. I've always been a walker. <clears throat> and so I would, uh, you know, park my car a distance and then walk too far, and then have to walk all the way back. And that has always been my pattern. And so I uh, would do that and enjoy just seeing neighborhoods and stuff. Because you don't see anything unless you walk it. I only knew the city from the bus routes because when you um, ride the bus, that's the only way you know routes and it's limited to those routes. And it's sort of some of what interests me about some of the people that I photograph too, mm -hmm. because I know one of my series, the old bus riders, uh, you know, I'm figuring these people doing it, just, you know, living, living the day, living, um, traveling mm -hmm. the routes that are there presented for. And so I um, understood it. I understood it. And the very first series that I had that was really 
successful on the second actually with the Black Tarches annuals. The bus rider series was just that because we were stuck. A question that you asked about where I grew up and it was right down there uh, near Arkansas Terrace in Fulton Avenue and the bus was changing drivers. I think it was winter but what it was is that because I think the people had coats but they were irritated is the point because they had to sit there for so long. And the irritation is what um, got them. But people, you know, when you're working, working class, you have to put up with so much. And so this is more crap that I have to put up with. Mm -hmm. And I felt that. And I don't know how the heck I was on the bus, but I was. And so I just started taking pictures. And I got some of the best pictures that I've ever taken. Uh, you only go out when you have tenacity to just throw that camera up in somebody's face and to take the image. Because that's really what you want. And if they say no, you might push. And so you have to be prepared to do it. You know? I thought that you develop, what you got to do is develop the mechanical skills to know how to produce quality images. And so that was my focus. I want them to see what I've documented as presented. And I'm not trying to force their hand as to how they see it, but for how I present it.